This is a quick tutorial on how to select keywords and narrow your search in library databases. In this case, we'll use the Academic Search Complete database, which has articles and other resources on many different subjects. You may also use these strategies when searching other databases. To get started, we are going to think about what topic we want to search. In our example, we'll look for resources on the topic of bullying. You can see that if we only enter the word bullying into the database, we get over 15,000 results. This is not an effective search because it is too broad, our results are not narrowed down to a specific subtopic, and there are far too many results. As you are searching, you will need to brainstorm key points that you would like to focus on in your research. Throughout your search process, you will also need to add and change your search terms in order to retrieve relevant results. In this example, we might want to focus specifically on bullying prevention rather than just bullying. You can see that our results are now narrowed down from 15,000 to about 3,000. Also, I think I want my research to focus on middle school students, so I'm going to add middle school as another keyword. Now I have 269 results that are specific to our topic. Keep in mind that just like we don't want our search to be too broad with thousands of results, we also don't want our search to be too narrow. If your search is returning zero or few results, you might want to broaden your search by removing or changing some of the keywords you entered. Also make sure to break down your search into keywords which make up the main points of your research question. You should avoid entering a long sentence or question into the database search box. For example, if your research question is, what are strategies for preventing bullying in middle schools, you should identify the main keywords and phrases to search instead of searching an entire question. Next, you should brainstorm alternate keywords to use in your search. This is important because the keywords you might have initially thought to search might not be the same as the keywords used in academic articles. Searching similar words will retrieve different results, even if these words are synonyms or different spellings. When you are brainstorming different keywords, it is also helpful to look at the subjects listed for each resource. These subjects are specific words or phrases used to organize resources by topic. It may be useful to use these terms when searching because they may lead to additional results. Also, be aware that research is a process. You should always try using different search terms and to narrow and broaden your search. You might also end up changing the focus of your topic based on the available literature. Librarians are available to assist you during all open hours in person, by phone, and by email. Please don't hesitate to contact us.